So 2023 started with really bad notes, recessions, layoff and everything. But hey, these things are not in our hand, the things which are in our hand and that is keep on preparing. And today in this video, I'll be sharing few of the tips which I did during my preparation and which you must keep on doing irrespective of the industry situation or in which year you are. And to motivate you further, I'll announce one of the giveaway at the end of this video so you might be the winner. So let's get started. Hey new people, myself Rajdeep and I'm currently working as a VLSI engineer with Intel and I keep on making such type of videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and all the subscriber, please don't forget to press the like button. So in this year, we still have 11 months and 11 months are enough to do anything. And I'll help you to make a to-do list of around six, uh, eight things which you must do. And uh, yeah, one bonus tips is also there, which I follow during my preparation time. So the first tips which you must follow. And if you are not from top tier, unfortunately, then you need to execute it for sure. And that is how to write cold email. So see, cold email, nothing like I'm feeling cold and I'm writing email. <laughs> Bad joke. So if you don't know what is cold email, there are lot of topics, lot of uh, videos are already made there. So you can know what does cold email mean. In rough sense, it is just a short introduction of yourself, why are you writing mail to them and what you want from them in direct word. And don't worry, I have one of the structure ready for you, how to write cold email or how I'll be writing a cold email if I wanted to. But one thing you must follow and that is your mail, your message or anything if you write to a recruiter, to anyone, that must be short enough because they don't have time to read everything. So try to keep it inside 50 word only. If you see here, there are a few example which I have composed. You can get some more great template for cold emailing. But I won't be suggesting you to follow any template because one thing is important in cold email or any email and that is there should be uniqueness. There should be some uniqueness to your email. So first one is just you are asking for if they have any opening and second one is actually you are trying to get a referral through them. So let's check the second one. So if you want to get a referral for them, the most important thing which maximum of you just ignore and that is you need to go to the career side of that company. You need to find out the opening and you need to provide the job ID to the referral which uh, will refer you because they don't have time. And if they have time also, why should they invest time to refer you? So you need to provide them everything which are handy then only might be they will refer you if your CV is great. So this is the rough format you can follow or if you find some uniqueness in yourself, in your word, you can uh, compose your own cold. <clears throat> you can compose your own cold email. So I'll recommend you if you are talking with any engineer of the, any company, then you use the second one. It is the best one. But if you are talking with any recruiter or probably you are confused which uh, jobs are open or it is a startup so they don't have a dedicated career portal where they upload all the job opening then you can write this one first one and the next point in your to-do list and that is you must create one linkedin id and you need to maintain that id i have shared this thing in my all video because it is much most important okay so what does it mean maintaining your linkedin id and that is you need to follow all the people which are in your industry, in your VLSI industry, because they keep on sharing great thing about the industry, great thing about what is happening there. And this knowledge are important. And that cold email also, it is email, but you can send that same template to their message box also in their LinkedIn. And the people who keep on sharing their thoughts on LinkedIn, they're probably most active in the LinkedIn than the email. So try to send the cold email in the LinkedIn only. And as a big brother, I will suggest you please uninstall all other apps social app only install the LinkedIn in your smartphone and use it I have only the LinkedIn promise <laughs> I use other app through browser or anything now you need to plan your weekends perfectly we don't need motivation for the Monday from Monday to Friday we have enough deadline and deadline create as a motivation to keep on working but on weekends we keep on wasting our time. For example, if you are doing some course, online courses, schedule your weekend nicely so that you don't waste your time. And another thing, please avoid web series because web series are like they will consume your lot of time. You want to chill out, watch the movie. I keep on doing that thing only. And yeah, there are few exceptions. For example, currently Wednesday was there. So like this type of web series, you can keep on watching, but 
maximum of web series just skip them at least till you got a vlsi job you will tell that hey now i got a vlsi job am i still skipping on all the web series yeah i don't watch web series only the popular one i watch because i think there is something else also i can do so to make my time more enjoyable like i'm talking with you or i can learn some extra skill probably few people will say hey people have some life but hey uh 10 years before there was no web series or anything they also had the life right so spend your time on things which will help you to grow and also give you the true happiness so the next thing in your to-do list and that is you must try to correlate anything in the tech world you see to your theory for example when i went for my mtech interview and there they have asked me about 4g what are the spectrum used there and also like how my theory of signal and system is working in real life scenario and this type of question demand from you that anytime you use any tag try to see what are the theory from your book are used in that tech device for example you are now watching my video and your screen might be amoled screen so try to know how amoled screen is actually showing my video or you are reading about op amps then how those op amps are actually used in your mobile device or any devices these things seems trivial and you probably find out that they are not so important but hey these actually give you the confidence that you are gonna be a really electronics engineer these are very important and during whole of my mtech years i was exploring those things only as an engineer in industry you are actually using those theory for a practical use case only and don't worry it don't need a lot of time anytime you are working you are doing nothing just you can think of those for example you are reading about analog to digital converter then just see around do you have a piece of tech which is actually using this analog to digital and in my case my microphone is using that analog to digital and the speaker of your smartphone using the opposite digital to analog so like this wise keep on exploring the thing then your boring theory will become interesting one and you can easily invest most of your time reading about vlsi reading about electronics engineering and this thing also help you to be updated with what happening in the vlsi industry in the ele electronics industry so now the most important thing in your to-do list of 2023 for getting into vlsi industry and that is please at least attend one of the vlsi marathon there would be announcing very soon in march or april i think uh, we'll be having the first vlsi marathon of this year and also in the end of october i think there would be other if you are active in linkedin for sure you will get the information there are many uh, people who keep on organize vlsi marathon in india and one of the prominent one is by 4c by iit delhi so this year at least you should must attend one of the vlsi marathon you can skip all the to-do list what i'll be discussing today but don't skip this one just attend you don't need to win only attending a vlsi marathon will give you a huge exposure into the vlsi industry how things are working and the next point is related to vlsi marathon only but this point will help you to prepare for a vlsi marathon and that is keep yourself familiar with all the free da tool i already have a dedicated video here if you don't know please watch it and in this year at least do five project project could be simple project only basic project only don't need to go high complex projects don't worry simple projects only i'll help you in this year with the at least five projects as i promised in uh, first video of this year so don't worry till the time i make a project you need to install all those free EDA tool and keep on exploring those EDA tool and it is very important to do projects because project will help you to get the confident on that particular topic for example the common project which i keep on telling you to do and that is a cmos inverter so if you actually do a perfect cmos inverter project from the schematic to the layout your and also you compare your output of schematic and output of layout with that you will get a deep insight into the inverter operation and probably if you have and not probably you will should you will should have question from cmos inverter in your interview in any vlsi interview be it your mtech uh, admission interview or a job interview and that time if you had already done the project hand on project on CMOS inverter you could confidently say yeah this is happening because of that and your confidence level will be in other level when you know the theory by doing a project and mind it confidence is a great soft skill to have 
to get any job for that you need to do the project in this year now if you are looking for any digital profile you need to know Verilog there will be many questions from Verilog and how to get confidence and that is by solving problem on Verilog and to help you solve many problem on Verilog we have a great site and that is HDL Vids you can see here I'll be attaching a link of HDL Vids also and they are actually have many things from a beginner level to a pro level i will suggest you minimum at least do one problem in one week we have 52 week minus four for this january still we have a 48 week so you can still do 50 problem on very long and this will boost your confidence in very long in a huge so minimum do 50 and maximum do 100 problem from this so now the top thing in your to-do list and that is you must register for one of the nptl course nptl is closing their registration in 30 january so we still have few days left for this semester and also in next semester which will be around september i guess so you must register for at least one course so in this year you can complete two courses. there are many dedicated video on nptl in my channel already i'll attach few of them in my description and this point actually give you one of the giveaway from my side before i go to the bonus tip and so what's the giveaway and giveaway is that first you need to register for a nptl course any one vlsi design course if you are confused watch my this video here i have explained all the great vlsi design domain course available in this semester so you need to register before 30 january this is the first step and then you need to do that course sincerely and when you get the certificate on the end of april upload that to the linkedin with the hashtag yrd so that i can identify that and the top three scorer from you will, will receive a gift from my side and that would be this book a great book and this is nothing sponsored i am doing only to motivate you for a nptl course and successfully completing that one to get a certificate and now is the time for bonus but before just check do you have subscribed to me please subscribe to me and also like the button like the not button like this video so what's the bonus point so bonus point is that you need to keep on making your cv it is not like i need to apply it today after so i'll start my making cv from today no your cv must be keep on going on anytime you do a project and you feel this project could be a great thing to add in your uh, cv then please add that thing to your cv otherwise if you just want to make a cv in one day or two day probably you will miss many things and probably you won't be able to customize your cv perfectly so that it got shortlisted so please keep on updating your cv throughout this year and so that anytime you get a great opportunity cv making own trouble you can just send your cv and get shortlisted for the job so i'll see you in our next video till then tata bye bye also please comment down that are you going to join this giveaway or not and joining giveaway is simple that is register for nptl any course before 30th january